And speaking of live services, we are so excited because starting next week, December 13th, we are going to have an in-person worship service again. And I know that you're probably wondering how that's all going to work, but come with me and I'll show you and I'll tell you all about what we're going to do. So ever since we closed the doors to the pandemic, we've been super excited to be able to open our doors again. And of course, it's going to look a little different than what we are used to, but we are super excited that we're able to just be together and worship in the sanctuary together. And what would a good informational video be without a voiceover? So first of all, it's important to know that the Oregon Health Authority gave the call that we are able to have up to 100 people in our sanctuary during live services. So we're making sure that that number of people do not go over the limit through our new registration process. Keep in mind that we're including our worship team, staff, and volunteers in that 100 person count. So we always stay under that number. And when you're registering to attend a live service, you can go on our website, on our worship page, and you'll be able to find the sign-up link for that week's service. So make sure to sign up early and reserve your spot. And please, don't forget that registrations are absolutely required to attend. You can begin registering for a Sunday service on Thursdays <laughs> at noon. Once Sunday morning rolls around, make sure to head on over to the church and make sure to get here by 9.45 so we can do all of our sign-in and check-in procedures. And we know it's been a while since we've seen you, so if you need help finding our building, you can always use Google Maps or, if you're old school, a normal map. And when you get out of your car, make sure to grab your mask because it is absolutely necessary for you to wear at all times while you are here. Please leave your donuts, coffee, and other snacks in the car. We will also not serve coffee during service, and we continue to not have any food or beverages in the sanctuary. Make sure to go through the courtyard to the main sanctuary doors, and you will find two check-in lines to join at a six feet distance from others, and then you'll see those when you come in. There will be someone at the check-in station who will ask for your name. If you have any guests, you'll tell that person their names as well. And instead of asking you health questions in person, our online registration process will ask you specific health questions beforehand when you go to register. Once you're clear to go in, surprise, you get to go into another line. An usher will greet you and take you into the sanctuary to your designated seating area. From there, you'll get to sit Listen, worship, pray, and enjoy being back at sunset on a Sunday morning. And we're asking that, no, 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 wait. Please keep your mask on. Thank you. Please keep your mask on to ensure the safety of those around you. The ushers will be there to make sure that masks are on and everyone is in their designated seating. If you need to use the restroom during your time here, the West Family Restrooms are open for use. After the service is over, please wait to be dismissed by an usher. We know that you want to say hello, give hugs, and chat with other people who attend, but we're asking that you leave the building promptly. At this time, you can go back to the comfort of your vehicle, drink your coffee, eat your snacks, and go home. Now, you're ready and fully prepared to attend services. And if you have any questions, you are more than welcome to contact us. But if you feel comfortable and are healthy, we hope to see you someday soon on a Sunday morning.